Hello everyone, this is Taylor Parks and I'm going to be telling you what I would take with me in my OT pediatric toolbox. To start, I would take with me a ball. A ball is very good because it can target gross motor skills and you can do activities such as catching, throwing, dribbling, and much more. These activities can target um, bilateral hand coordination, balance, visual motor and visual tracking. So this ball is pretty cool because it has little spikes on there so it can be a good sensory tool. And it also lights up, which is very cool. It can be for um, visual tracking or sensory as well. So moving on, I would take with me pom-poms. Now pom-poms are great because they can be used for um, arts and crafts, um, practicing sorting because they are different size. It's also good for sensory because they're different colors and different textures too, so they feel pretty neat. And you can also use these to practice um, pinching too, so you can pinch and move these um, little pom-poms around also. All right, and I also brought with me um, putty. Now, for the sake of this video, I just brought um, cheap putty from the dollar store, but typically you know, you take some putty, some therapeutic putty with, you know, a greater amount of it. So putty is awesome because you can um, use this as a hard work activity to warm up the fingers. You can hide materials in there. You can practice pinching, pulling, and um, you can practice um, grip strength. So putty is a very good one. Um, next I have clothespins. Clothespins can go along very well with the um, pom-pom. So you can pinch and pick up a pom-pom and move it. Um, you can also hang clothes on a line, crossing the midline. Um, you can do arts and, craft with the, arts and crafts with these, so these are a very good tool as well. Um, next, I have with me some modeling clay um, made by Crayola. As you can see, it's different colors, and it, this is pretty easy to manipulate, and um, you, know, you can practice some good um, pinching skills, some forming, good, build that good hand strength. And you can practice with forming letters, shapes, um, you can make clay figures. The um, options are pretty endless with some clay. And next I have with me pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners are great because you can cut them, you can form them into different shapes, you can use them for arts and crafts. Um, you can also practice tying shoes with these, which is pretty cool. Um, and you know, they also feel very um, good too, so they could be used for sensory as well. So there's pipe cleaners. And next I have with me your basic blank sheet of paper and crayons. Now, the options are again endless with this. You can practice shapes, you can cut the paper, you can tear it, um, you can trace, you can um, uh, follow the lines, you can visual motor skills. It's just a very good tool to have with you a few sheets of blank paper. Okay, um, moving on, I have with me a game of Connect Four. Connect Four and having just a basic board game can be used for a reward. It's just kind of fun to play for kids. And then this particular game can build fine motor skills and um, visual motor um, as, as well. So, you know, these are pretty small, so the ch um, children have to move their hands properly in order to be able to fit the, um, the objects into the Connect Four board game. So, you know, and playing a board game also can teach kids a lot of good um, social skills, such as taking turns, um, you know, how to handle losing in certain scenarios, and having patience. It's just a very good idea to keep some type of game with you in your OT toolbox. And lastly, I have with me some stickers. Now stickers can be used for positive reinforcement, motivation, and, um, and for encouragement as well. So, you know, stickers and some sort of motivator is always good to have with you in your OT toolbox. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.